It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax so we'll sing, chat, and laugh -o on the Curious Giraffe Show. Oh, I am so glad to see you back. Some of you have been traveling, some of you have been here keeping me company, and I'm so glad you're here. We have our song about who's who on the Curious Crew. Who's who on the Curious Crew? I am Dorothy with a show for you. This is Jeanette. Hi. And this is George. He's quiet. Now who else is on the Curious Crew? You. <laughs> now, Jeanette, could you find out who's on the crew today? Hi, Milo. Um, what's your name, Lauren? Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name, Emily? Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name, Aurora? Hi, Hi Aurora. Aurora. What's your name, Maddie? Hi, Hi Maddie. Maddie. Oh, I am so glad you're here. And just like the giraffe, our eyes and ears are open and we're curious. And we're curious about what the show is going to be about today. So we'll sing the Curious Giraffe song, the first verse about the eagle, and then we get the new verse. Giraffe looked over at eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky, give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at the child who was sad. I want to offer hope help in any way I can. The child said, come over, you can hold my hand, cause we all share one big sky. Oh yeah, here we go. Share one big sky, share one big sky, give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along, cause we can all share we can all care, we're different but we all belong. Nice. And our voices got a little quieter for this question. What is their question today? Do you remember? Giraffe looked over at the child who was sad. Kindness. Kindness. How did the giraffe want to be kind? What, how did he respond, or she? Um, he wanted to offer hope and help in any way he can. Hope and help. Hope and help. How can we give each other hope and help? And our letters today are H, so hope and help. So that happens in life. We don't always smile. Sometimes we're sad. And how can we give each other a little help? or hope. So, this next song is by my friend Ruth Pelham. Did you want to say something about hope or help? Okay, what did you want to say? Give them a nice hug. Oh, give them a nice hug. That is exactly right. And this next song is exactly about that. So let's sing, What do I do when my sister or brother or friend is crying. Here we go. We can give them a hug. That's exactly right, Maddie. Here we go. What do I do when my sister is crying? What do I do? I don't know what to say. You take your sister
we singing? Brothers. brothers. Some of us have brothers, right, Milo? What do I do when my brother is crying? What do I do? I don't know what to say. You take your brother in your arms and you hug him. You take your brother crying and then the words will be a little bit different but let's sing together what do i do when the whole world is crying what do i do i don't know what to say you take the world into your heart and you love us you take the world Take that same love that you feel for, in, for your family or friends that you already know, and you feel that love for the whole world and that caring if the world is sad, right? That's why families and friends are so important. Well, it, um, just in the interest of time, I wasn't going to do the whole thing, but I'll read it. It says, what do I do when I am crying? Hmm. And she thought of... You go deep into your heart, and love will find you. So sometimes if no one's around, you go inside your heart, and you, you find love, and you give yourself a hug, right? And then the last part is a, someone else that's bigger than you says, you can climb into my arms, and I'll hug you. You can climb into my arms because I love you. So somebody bigger than you, and that's the picture of a child getting a hug from a grown-up, probably a parent, but it could be a friend, a trusted somebody. So, my friend Sally Rogers also thought about this question. She said, when the problem seems so big, what can one little person do? And she thought about that, and again, Emily, since you brought it up, I'm just going to sing two verses so we can get to all of our, our ideas today. Okay, so here we go. What can, well, let's do what can one little person do. Here we go. What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do? Together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? And here's one person who figured out something she could do. Do you know her? This first name is Harriet Tubman. Can you tell us a little bit about her? She, free, uh, she helped a lot of slaves escape from slavery and they wanted to capture her a lot, so she had to keep going on the run, but she was very brave. She was very brave, and she helped people one at a time to get free from slavery. Good. Aurora, I'm glad you knew about her. I read a whole book about her. You read a book. Good. Excellent. There's so much more to know about her. Harriet Tubman was alone on the darkened road to freedom, but she couldn't leave her people far behind. Moses stretched out his hand, and 
she led them to their promised land Cause she knew she had justice on her side Here we go, what can one little person What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do to help this world go round? One can help another one, and together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? Rosa Parks. Anybody know about Rosa Parks? You uh, should. Aurora, tell us again? Yeah. Okay, Aurora, tell us about Rosa Parks. I didn't read the book, but I know the lady. Sure. Do you know what she did that was that helped other people? Not really. Okay, she's the person who, she had dark skin, and there was a rule back then, an understanding that, that white people got to sit in the front of the bus, and that people with darkish skin oh, had to sit in the she back. She didn't give up her seat to someone white. Yes, and that brave, brave thing helped it to be much more fair. I read it in a book called um, She Persisted. She Persisted. Thank you for telling us about that book. I love that book. That's an excellent book. Here we go. Ready? Rosa Parks. The par Rosa Parks sat on the bus and the driver said you must move to the back of the bus or else be thrown in jail. But she stayed and stood her ground And she brought that old law down Cause she knew she had justice on her side One more time, what can one little person do? Let's all sing it, ready? What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do To help this world go? Together we can get the job done. That's what one little person can do to help this world. Wow. I know Martin Luther King as well. Yes. So Martin Luther King and Sojourner Truth are also included in this song. And those Sojourner were brave Truth. people. Well, that's somebody you can look up, right? Who lived quite a while ago. I looked in this week's paper, I thought, what are people doing right now to help and give us hope in the world? And so I looked at the paper carefully and I saved articles about things that are happening today that people are helping each other. So I was curious and I thought I would share them with you. And you um, each take a paper and pass it on. Okay, go ahead. Take one and pass it on. Okay. Okay. Extra How about, is there an extra because I thought someone else might be here, but I can hold that. How about... Uh, Milo, can you tell us what you see in your picture? Um, I see um, um, that um, oh, um, the um, would say the Boys recount dream of cave rescue. Okay, so hold up your picture out to the audience at home. He's got the picture of the boys who were rescued from the caves. When they went in, the ground was dry and they could explore, but while they were inside, there were heavy, heavy rains, and they needed help. And one helped another one. The people in the world said, we love our boys. We're going to go in and rescue them. And the whole world felt happy about that. So we're going to sing one verse of Oh, Can I Help? And let's say, Oh, Can I Help You Find Your Way Back Home? So that might be just somebody who gets lost at, at 
your neighborhood or on a special adventure. Okay, can you hold that down? And this song goes, oh, can I help? Can I help you find your way back home? Ready? Oh, can I help? Can I help you find your way back home? Oh, can I help? Can I help you find your way back home? Oh, can I help? Can I help you find your way back home? I'll do what I can, just like a friend. Can I help you out? And what do the boys say? Yes, you can help, right? Sing with me. Yes, you can help. You can help me find my way back home. Yes, you can help. You can help me find my way back home. Yes, you can help. You can help me find my way back home. I'll do what I can, just like a... Oh, I'd sure like your help when you offer yourself. Thanks for helping out. Okay, Lauren, what's your picture show? A girl feeding a dog, and I'm going to just help us know what this is about. That Oh, and turn your picture around so people can also see it. And th there's a school near here in Northampton that got a dog to help children feel comfortable at school. And they um, hope that that will help, like children who are new or nervous about learning new things or meeting new people, that they can be more comfortable at school. So that's another way to help. And Emily, how about what does your picture show? It shows a, um, a person on a bike uh -huh. with a flower, with, a, with flowers. Okay, will you hold it up so everyone can see? And do you know what that person is doing? Or shall I tell us? He has a special delivery, and hold it up longer for the people that are looking at the cameras. There we go. This boy accidentally, when he was playing soccer, he accidentally broke a plant at his parents' house. And he's smiling in that picture because he could do something to help. He went and got a new plant because he had broken a plant. Okay. And Aurora. Do you know what's happening in your picture? And will you hold it up so everyone can see it? Turn, turn it all the way around. There you go. What are they doing? Painting the tea house. Painting the columns at the tea house. And I noticed that it's a grandson helping his grandfather paint. So his grandson said, can I help? And I'm sure his grandfather said what? Yes, okay. And let's see, which one of these would you, you want to tell us about that one or that one? Will you tell us about the extra one? Sure. Um, it's like with cars and a family. A cars and a family. And there was a car accident, and this, these are the children who are twins, and their daddy saw the car accident. And instead of just leaving and saying, oh, somebody else will help, he stopped and helped the people until the doctors and the police could come to help them. And so he got written up in the paper for helping when no one else was there and until more help came. Okay, and my last one is a very simple one that the newspaper wanted to recognize, that while some of us are on vacation, other people are helping to make the schools spick and span for the new school year. And they're saying, this was the newspaper's way of saying, thank you for helping. You're helping lots of people, but they don't see you. They're in the schools. So they took a picture. OK, so let's sing one more. Who would we sing? Shall I let's sing, can I help you have a friend at school? Should we do that? Let's sing that one. Cause I'll go with the puppy dog one. OK, Lauren? OK, so sing with me. Oh, can I help? Oh, can I help? Can I help you have a friend at school? Can I help you find a friend at school? Oh, can I help? Can I help you find a friend at school? I'll do what I can, just like a friend. Can I help you out? Yes, you can help. Yes, you can help. You can help me find a friend at school. Yes, you can help. You can help me find a friend at school. 
Yes, you can help. You can help me find a friend at school. I sure like your help when you offer yourself. Thanks for helping now. All right. Very nice. Okay. Have any of you ever helped? When have you helped a girl? I try to help my parents clean the house and do dishes and stuff. That and I sure they are thinking in their heads. Boy, I like your help when you offer, especially when you offer. Sometimes I um, make a, like a small breakfast. Like I chop up some cucumbers and tomatoes, and I, I um, put it on a small plate for my mom and stuff. What a wonderful way to help in a healthy breakfast! What a fun idea! That's awesome, Maddie. Yes. Um, I help Papa make pancakes. And you help Papa. What part do you do? I um help Papa do the ingredients. Great to mix the ingredients. I sometimes and, like, them. mix the mix together. Mix them together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did that remind you of something, Emily? Um, I sometimes help my mom bring food to our neighbor. <laughs> That's. He's a ninety-five. Isn't that kind of you all? You see, your neighbor who's 95 think, wouldn't that be nice to fix him a meal? Thank you. That's a great idea. Anybody else? Are there ways, big or little ways, that we help sometimes? Little ways to clean dishes. And Absolutely. Putting away the clean dishes. Absolutely. And then they're there when you need them. You have any idea, Milo? Okay, I'm going to ask, do you sometimes help to carry things when there are things to bring in from the car? Yeah, my kids used to help me with that. There's just too many things. If everybody helps... I help Papa help things in. You help him carry things in? Yeah. Great. Okay. All right, so we're going to sing an exciting song. I want you to stand up. Oh, actually, pass your pictures over. I'm going to just take good care of them. Thank you. Okay, great. Stand up. We're going to sing that I'm so inspired by the human spirit because in this world, we all have a spirit inside of us that can say yes. Okay, so here we go, that we can help. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human spirit, the human spirit, and how we carry on through the hard times. Cheer it. I'm impressed with how we carry on. In some places they have had high winds and flooding. Underwater some lost power, some lost homes. And they had to leave and be rescued by strangers. And they learned that others cared they weren't alone. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human spirit. I'm impressed with how we carry on. In some places they have had a drought or famine, and it's hard to get their water and their food. Then some people who have more reached out to help them, cause they had a caring, sharing attitude. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human Sometimes you will get the help or be the helper. So be ready to step up and lend a hand. We can all be there to care for one another. And together we will do all that we can. Last time, you can clap or march or whatever. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human spirit, the human spirit. I'm impressed with how we carry on. Great.
right, now stay standing because I have a new song and dance that I wanted to teach you. And you can follow me in the motions. We'll stay in a little curve like this. We'll march in and out like that. It goes, and now all people can help set their mighty souls free. Here we go. I'll sing it slowly. Do what I do, okay? And now all people can help set their mighty souls free. And now all people can help release love's energy. And now all people can help. They are you. They are me. They are bold. They are strong. They are free. Yes, no matter what our background, now in every place that we're found, we are naming and we're claiming the power to join hands together and help. Here we go. And now all people can hope, set their mighty souls free. And now all people can hope, release love's energy. And now all people can hope, they are you, they are me. They are bold, they are strong, they are free. Yes, no matter what our background, now in every place that we're found, we are naming and we're claiming the power to join hands together and hope. And now all people can care, set their mighty souls free. Yes, now all people can care, release love's energy. And now all people can care, they are you, they are me. They are bold, they are strong, they are free. Yes, no matter what our background, now in every place that we're found, we are naming and we're claiming the power to join hands together and care. We can help, we can hope, and we can care. Very nice. Now we're just going to move to the front and sing our goodbye song. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Ready? Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. See you next time. Bye-bye. Can I help you find a friend? a friend. Can I help you out? Yes, you can help. Yes, you can help. You can help me find a friend at school. Yes, you can help. You can help me find a friend at school. Yes, you can help. You can help me find a friend at school. I sure like your help when you offer yourself. Thanks for helping.